so if you all remember back in like 2020 late 2020 early 2021 i can't quite remember but there was a capcom leak that was it basically listed off a bunch of games that were set to come out over the next four years so 2020 2021 2022 2023 and 2024 right and the the coolest thing about this or you know depending on how you look at it some people might say it's not cool because you know it, it leaks the surprise gets rid of the surprise and whatnot but i think this leak means more than any other leak that has come out in the past four years because a lot of these games that were on the list thus far have come out Resident Evil Village was on that list. Monster Hunter Rise was on that list. Monster Hunter Stories 2 was on that list. Resident Evil 4 Remake was on that list. Now, all of these games that I just listed came out before 2023 within 2023, right? So, in that time frame, Resident Evil Village was set for early 2021. Resident Evil 4 Remake was set for late 2022. Which it came out first quarter of 2023, so that would make sense, you know, if they had some pushbacks. We know it was undergoing some development trouble and they had to switch teams every now and then. But, um, you know, to, up until this point, it seems like this list has been pretty accurate. And some Resident Evil games that we saw on here besides Village and 4 Remake is Resident Evil Outrage, Biohazard Apocalypse, which is just the Japanese name for Resident Evil. And they even called... Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. And then we have Resident Evil Hank. Now, I don't think I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive this doesn't mean a Breaking Bad crossover. We're not getting Resident Evil Hank and Resident Evil Walter. But what I do think Resident Evil Hank could be is Resident Evil Hunk. Now, some speculation as to what that might be Seeing as we're coming up on, I think they've already thrown out the idea of Resident Evil Outrage. I don't think that's going to happen. That was supposed to come out late 2021. It is about to be 2024, so they've probably tossed that out. But the next Resident Evil games we have are Biohazard Apocalypse and Resident Evil Hunk. Now, we have had a lot of leaks for Biohazard lately, Apocalypse, so that would make sense if that's next. But... We kind of already have an idea of what that is going over all these leaks. We we know most of what we can right now. We can't say any of that's 100% true as far as the leaks, but we do know what the leaks have said. So we have something to go off of there. But with Resident Evil Hunk, you see nobody talking about this game. And I think it's actually a very good possibility that we get a game based around Hunk in the future because we have not seen Hunk since Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City uh, and Resident Evil 2 Remake, of course, right? And I guess you could count for Remake just because he's a playable character there, but he has no, like, weight to the story at all. However, that does tell us that Hunk is still alive during Resident Evil 4, or at least that's how I'm interpreting it, seeing as you're able to play as him in the Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries. But I think Resident Evil Hunk could be one of two things. An Operation Raccoon City remake, which I don't see as very likely, or a Revelations type game where we get something that goes over what Hunk has been doing currently in the story, or at least after Operation Raccoon City, right? And I think that would be a very interesting story, too, because it's like, I've always been kind of on the edge as to if I view Hunk as a good guy or bad guy, seeing as he's working for Umbrella, right? But, like, I've always kind of viewed him as a hero, and I think a lot of the other people in the fan base have, too. I think we can all agree he's kind of like an anti-hero, right? Like a, he's like a protagonist working with the antagonist, similar, similar to Ada, you know? She works with the bad companies, but she helps out Leon um, and Chris and all of them. Like, she really is, you know, on their side, but she'll do whatever she has to do for money. And it seems like it's a very similar deal with Hunk. So I think it would be interesting to expand upon his character a little bit. Maybe let us see his face in a game. We do know what he looks like. And also give us some backstory on who he is, where he comes from. What led to him becoming Mr. Death. You know, what, what made him so special? How did he become the most well-known, well-trained Umbrella agent? 
But I would love to hear what you guys think about this down in the comments below, especially because we've seen little to no information on this game in the past, I would say, two years now. People were kind of speculating about it back whenever the leaks came out, but it seems like a lot of people think they've tossed the idea, even though we have not yet come up on when Hunk is supposed to release. It says on the chart that it's coming out in quarter four of 2024, so I don't think it's out of the question at all, but... We don't know anything right now, which would make sense that we haven't seen leaks since it's so far out into the future, right? But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Lots of videos on the way. Uh, stay tuned, stay safe, and stay warm. Take care, everybody, and have a great day. Peace.